Hey guys, happy March. Welcome back to another bedtime book review. Today's vi uh, video, yes, is about You Need the Unicorn by Amy Cross Rosenthal. I've got here the original from the library and the sequel, You Need the Unicorn and the Dream Come True, which we own as a board book. So they do come in like paper and board book varieties. So that's always nice. I like when a, a book comes as a board book version because obviously that makes it more durable for little kids. Uh, who like to try to eat books. Um, so because we own this one, this was given to us as a gift. I think she got it at like a used bookstore. So we read this for like a year before we ever read this one, the original. And that maybe gives me a different perspective on this pair of books. Um, but there's some like, okay, so most of the books that I do on this bedtime book review series I have a generally positive impression of, with one exception, don't read Sleepy ABCs, uh, but I'm gonna keep talking about that book, I hate it, but um, mostly I, I do books that I enjoy, right? But often books that I have like weird little tiny nitpicks about. So that's what I'm doing today, I'm nitpicking, and I would have expected this to have a plot. So let's talk about it. Uni the Unicorn is about Uni the Unicorn, who is the only unicorn who believes that little girls are real. That's an adorable premise. I was immediately like, that is so cute when I read about it in the sequel. So the first book, we just sort of learn about Yumi. Um, we learn that she's, you know, almost like every other unicorn, except that she's, you know, a little bit extra special, but also she's the only one who believes in little girls. And so she doesn't have very many friends because of it. She's kind of obsessed. Her friends laugh at her, tell her unicorns aren't real, and her parents have these knowing smiles. All right, great. Um, and then they, she has these plans for what they'll do if she ever meets this little girl, because she knows there's this one little girl that she's going to get to meet. Turns out there is. And so here we are uh, this far through the book. We meet the little girl. She is the only one who believes the unicorns are real. So here's all of her friends telling her ha 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 and her parents knowing the smiles. She's dreaming about all the things that she's going to do. She knows that there's a unicorn just waiting to be her friend. And then the book's over. So it's a, it's a premise. It's not a story. And that's weird to me. Um, because this came out in 2014 and this came out in 2017. This is where the story happens. Uh, in this story, we open up with suddenly it's raining. Um, at some point, I guess in the three intervening years, it has started to rain and never has stopped. Um, and because uh, there are only three ways unicorns can get their strength and magic. From the golden sun, from magnificent rainbow, rainbows, from the sparkle of believing, and there's none of those things except for uni and she and the little girl save the day right um and then they finally you know get to slide down those rainbows together that they had always wanted to so we've got the conclusion and that's a great conclusion i think the whole thing together i understand that it's kind of two concepts but it almost it's just one story it's just weird that this has no plot Anyway, it's really cute. I like a lot of the things. Um, I love the art by Bridgette Berger. Um, I, I think it's really sweet and cute. I like the concept. Like I said, it's adorable. The, the idea of a unicorn who believes in little girls. Um, and there's a lot of like parallels and repetition in ways that I just think is a really charming writing style. So for ex example, this is like page two. Magnificent mane, and then in parentheses, the unis was extra magnificent. Golden hooves, the unis were extra golden. Sparkling purple eyes, the unis were extra sparkling. This, that kind of repetition. And then uh, I already showed you the, the pictures of um, both uni and the little girl being disparaged by their friends and parents. And there's that like, I'll find it here. <laughs> the um, mirror between those two definitely in the wrong spot so you have things that are repeating here we go and um and then that actually continues on to the second book so i read you that bit about uni's um 
sparkling horn and golden hooves. Um, this is the very beginning, or the, the second page of the sequel, says there hadn't been any sunshine for what seemed like forever, which meant there hadn't been any rainbows for what seemed like forever, which meant there hadn't been any magic for what seemed like forever. And I already told, read the part about the sparkle of believing and all that. So you've got that like threefold repetition. You've got the uh, parentheses. And then the other thing that you've got, this is going on to my nitpick list, is there's no conjunctions or, or commas. Um, and it's a little bit awkward and stilted to read because that's not the way English works. You would say there are only three ways unicorns can get their strength and magic. From the golden sun, comma, from magnificent rainbows, comma, or and whatever from the sparkle of believing. Well, instead there are three sentence fragments, and you know my daughter's too young to to worry about you know grammar, but you know it's uh it's just kind of it makes me pause every single time I read through it. Um, and here is another um, mirror between the two books. She's. Uh, the the little girl lives somewhere far away but not that far away i think that's just really a cute way of phrasing it um and then also there's a mirror between what uni wants to do with the little girl and what they end up doing so they're like helping forest creatures in need stuff like that and i already showed you the the sliding down rainbows um i'm just going to show you some more of this art you know because it's cute they would explore and help forest creatures in need. And here, they stop to help some forest creatures in need. Which is just funny and cute. Um, then the next thing that's a, a nitpick, because I nitpick, they use the word befriending as a, um, without a, an object what's the there's a name for that kind of verb and I'm not gonna pause and edit and figure out what that is but you know what I mean it says believing and befriending each and every unicorn became once again sparkly strong and magical and I don't think I've ever heard the word befriending used without telling you who's being befriended um I guess it's implied that they're befriending each other or I guess they're befriending the girl but I'm going to, here, I'll just be a Debbie Downer nitpicker and say that um, it doesn't count as belief if you've met the little girl. But that's not the point. The point is it's very cute. My daughter loves this book and also really enjoys this one. There's just a couple of things about the writing style that I find just a little bit hiccupy. But generally, um, if I were to recommend only one of them, I think I would recommend the sequel. Because like I said, it has a plot. Um, we didn't feel like we had missed out on anything. I knew from the bottom and, you know, from the back, I mean, um, that there was another book in the series. And so that's why I looked it up and we read it. Um, it doesn't add that much to it. And maybe it's only because I read this one first, but I like this one better. So, Uni the Unicorn and The Dream Come True, or just plain old Uni the Unicorn by Amy Cross Rosenthal. There are links to get these down in the uh, description. There's like an affiliate shop page where you can find all of the books that I've done in this whole series. There's a playlist as well. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because I post these kinds of videos every month. So if you have a, a particular book that you are interested in seeing my take on, anything that's like mostly good but a little bit of nitpicking, I'm all about that. I'm always just looking for new stories to read my girls at bedtime. So leave those in comments below and then I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye!